Hello friends, this is Jamal and with me is my 24 year old son Nafis who has autism. Friends, today I'm going to share with you something quite exciting and different. We just finished our first major DIY home improvement project which was to replace our old window blinds. We had been thinking about doing that since last year. Some of them were not functioning properly and it was about time to replace those with something more durable, less clumsy, which would also add more style, beauty and value to our house. So at the end of last year, after doing some initial research online, we decided to go for plantation style wood shutters, made our budget and eventually received some estimates from Costco, Home Depot and few other independent local companies. However, all of their quotes were very different from each other and way above our initial budget ranging anywhere from 12k to 18k for 22 windows of different sizes. There are mainly two types of shutters which are most popular among homeowners. 100% wood and composite or engineered wood shutters. Some companies that gave us their quotes were charging way more for wood and some were not. Some companies had said wood is the best and another would say no it was a composite. So it got a little confusing and complicated for us. At that point we didn't know which way to go, which company to pick. Then Unexpectedly, we noticed that our next door neighbor Rick just replaced his blinds with some kind of window shutters. So I went to talk to him. Rick said he chose composite shutters because they are weatherproof. He ordered them online from Home Depot and installed everything by himself. According to him, it was a pretty easy job. Everything comes in a clearly marked boxes, pre-fabricated. You just need to put the frames back together and hang the frames and panels up on your windows with already included all necessary hardware. It took him only a couple of days to finish installing all his shutters with only a few basic tools. His total cost was even several thousand dollars lower than our lowest beater which turned out to be well under our budget. He showed us how did his shutters look like from inside the house and explained in details how he completed the whole installation. It looked beautiful to us and seemed pretty easy of a job, absolutely doable without breaking our backs and bank. So my wife and I was instantly inspired and decided to go for our first major home improvement project right away. We ordered them online in four different batches, not to overburden my old bag by carrying the heavy boxes up and down the stairs. The home deliveries are always free, but the driver wouldn't bring them inside the house. They would deliver them on a pallet and leave the pallet either on the front door or on the driveway. If requested, they would bring it inside the garage. That's what I preferred and thus we were able to move them inside the rooms at our own terms. My son helped me a lot carrying them in. It was indeed an easy job. Now friends, let me show you how did I install them. Please stick to our video until it ends.
Now you need some basic tools. And they are a drill, a pen or pencil, a level, a screwdriver, and a box cutter. Thank you.